Fire engulfs a South St. Louis home and News 4 uncovers alarming numbers of fires in this neighborhood. What investigators have to say. Unbelievable video of Russian jets provoking a Navy destroyer. We're breaking down every frame to show you how close they got. Phony IRS agents attempt to rip off a News 4 viewer. Chris Negus gives them a call and sets them straight. Is that the one that ties into the blah, blah, blah statute? Live from KMOV, this is News 4 at 10. A big night in downtown St. Louis as tens of thousands of people come to the Blues and Cardinals games. Police said they would be out in force. Tonight, News 4 is checking their efforts, seeing how many are on the streets. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alyssa Reitmeyer. And I'm Corey Stark in for Steve Savard. You know, time and time again, we hear from police that they're going to have a strong presence downtown. Well, tonight, I walk the streets to find out if that's true. A lot of red and a lot of blue. But I was looking for a different shade of blue. And around the stadiums, we really saw it. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. A lot more on the trains and the platforms. And as soon as I got off, I noticed a lot of them. So that's always a good thing, more police. One thing Police Chief Sam Dotson talked about is having a strong police presence at Metrolink stops. That's exactly what we're seeing tonight. Two officers standing at this stop right next to Bush Stadium. It's impossible for police to be on every block downtown, but police made their presence known in many different ways. Even though there's no officers at this intersection, we have seen officers in patrol cars and ATVs circling the Scott Trade Center. So even though they don't have a physical presence, they definitely are here. We've seen most officers within a couple blocks of both the Scott Trade Center and Bush Stadium. But one thing that can't be forgotten is there's over 400 cameras linked to the real-time crime center, just like the one at this intersection. A popular cut through for fans between the two stadiums, Spruce Street was not heavily covered with police, but it didn't bother these fans. You guys seen a lot of police around? No, not right now. Haven't really felt like we needed it either. And all of the fans that we talked tonight say that they felt very safe walking around downtown and gave a lot of credit to the police department. The good news tonight, no major incidents to report. Alyssa. All right, Corey, thank you. And new tonight, we're working to find out what led to a shooting inside a South St. Louis apartment complex. It happened on South Broadway near Itasca. Police tell us a man in his late 30s was rushed to the hospital with gunshot wounds. You can see here detectives investigating the scene inside the apartment's gated parking lot. The victim is alive but is in critical and unstable condition. That shooter is still on the loose. A massive fire inside a building in St. Louis's Benton Park neighborhood. We have been covering.